I'm Mark Principato. I'm the director of the Forex and Futures Training Program here at SMBU. In these segments, I'm going to be providing trading wisdom, trading ideas, and concepts that you can consider as you're building your own methodology. So in this segment, I want to talk about random price action. Prices are random, and a lot of newer traders don't realize this, especially on smaller time frames, one-minute charts, five-minute charts, 15-minute charts even. So a lot of traders, they put a lot of weight on these random prices, and then they wonder why they get stopped out all over the place, or when they get caught up in a lot of noise. Getting caught up in noise creates a lot of forced trades. You think you see things that aren't really there, that sort of thing. A lot of traders also use traditional tools to measure these random prices, which makes things even worse. As a professional trader, what I'm looking to do is not measure randomness, but to measure relevant information, which comes from larger time frames. Remember, price is the most relevant information you can get. It's the most relevant information you can measure. If you're using lagging oscillators and moving averages and things along those lines, you're always going to be behind. You're always going to be chasing the price. As a professional speculator, I'm looking to anticipate changes in price at points predetermined in the future. When price reaches one of these points, then I can look for further information, what we like to call validation. And this comes in a number of forms. We use price action analysis. We also use volume analysis. When price validates at a level that we've anticipated, we can then justify taking a risk. We know our stops, we know our targets based on our methodology, and we're prepared to go. There's no question. We're confident because we're very well structured. When you're not structured, you react. You're emotional. Your emotions take over. This is what we teach our trainees to avoid. Now, not every trade is perfect. We can anticipate levels we can even validate. Not everything is going to be 100%. Markets are highly random. It's sort of like poker. There's a lot of randomness in it, but there are ways to measure your odds and determine when the best time to play is and what type of size to put on, what kind of bets to take. So what I want, what I want you to take away from this is that price is the most relevant information. Don't get caught up with lagging oscillators. They do have their place, but keep in mind, you're looking at old information. That happened already. It's done. Traders are looking to the future. The, the crowd is acting now on information that's hitting the market now. You need to be flexible. You need to be able to adjust to that information as it comes. And the way we do that is we use price action and we use volume analysis. That helps us see the footprints of the relevant players in the market. It helps us see what the crowd intent is. When the crowd is mostly buying, you can't see that sometimes. When the crowd is selling, you can't see that because price may be reacting a certain way. When, when, the, when price is exhausting itself and the crowd is becoming exhausted, a traditional oscillator or a traditional indicator will not be able to tell you that information. But volume analysis and price action analysis can. And when we detect these changes in the price action, then we can also justify a risk. The methodology allows us to set targets and stops and allows us to take the trade with confidence. That is what structured trading is all about. Structured trading is what helps us operate in a random environment. So I hope this trading wisdom helps you understand your own trading a little bit better, and I hope I can guide you into more effective behavior. Make sure to watch my trading analysis videos on Monday and my trade reviews on Friday, where I go over actual trades and analyze why they were taken and how they were managed. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you've learned. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you for watching. My name is Mark Principato, and I'll see you next time.